Cancer. Welcome to your general forecast for the month of March. This is Miriam. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for uh, coming back. So Cancer, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be general, could be love. We're going to take it as it comes. Whatever comes out could be past, present, future. Um, please only take what resonates and don't try to make it fit. If it's not resonating for you, it's not your reading. Hold out for the next readings. And uh, we'll see what we get for you at this time. So let's see. Welcome, Cancer. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. So I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below in the description box for your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is in the description along to the pinned top comment. And another way to tip or donate is if you are watching this during the premiere, Super Chat is open. So if you don't feel comfortable donating through PayPal and you would like to give a little bit of a donation uh, through Super Chat, that is an option during the premiere. And if you do, thank you. <clears throat> so Cancer, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. <clears throat> Sorry, I was very sick. And it seems like I just can't, I had the flu a couple weeks ago and I just can't get rid of this like little bit of a nagging cough and it hits me all of a sudden. I get the tickle and I just can't stop coughing. It's happened during my readings where I had to stop, edit it out. And so anyway, <laughs> cancer. So what we're going to do here is get a Zodiac card. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. We'll pull an Oracle for your opening message, another for your energy clarify that energy with the tarot and then we'll look at your actual situation advice for you and possible outcome and then more messages from this other uh, oracle deck so what do we have for cancer at this time spirit please thank you so much all right so what do we have here so we have uranus so and that i believe is, it's aquarius so <clears throat> Some of you uh, could be dealing with an Aquarius or have it in your chart. If not, totally fine. It could be just the energy of Uranus, which is about uh, all the basic human needs and challenges. So, you know, basic human needs of life, you know, eating, sleeping, friends, family, love, um, all that energy. So we'll see how that plays in to your reading. And Aquarius does represent the star in the tarot, which is about divinely guided energy, uh, which is in dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism, healing energy. So we'll see how that plays in to your reading. So let's see what's going on here for you, Cancer. Let's get an opening message for Cancer Spirit, please. What do they need to know at this time for Cancer? What is their opening message? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, that one wanted to fly, definitely. So we have details, details. All right, and that is 43, which is 7. And I notice <clears throat> here it says, important notes, clarity. So if there's anything you're doing in your life right now that involves paperwork, contracts, um, anything you need to sign, documents, you need to go over every little uh, specification, every little detail, uh, every little note, every, every little thing, make sure you're not missing anything. Or if something is missing, make sure it's added. I'm getting that heavily. So, and if you don't understand what you're reading, then ask for clarity on everything so you fully understand everything here that you're reviewing. Hmm. Okay, so I just want to read... Um, I don't feel like I need to, but 43, so I just want to read a little bit um, from the book here. The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. Yeah, to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details. Um, finesse a project. Small, meaningful gestures. Um... Be aware of what you need to know in the details, lies in the details. If you are enter entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. Clarity and transpar transparency are key. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute, bo uh, minute body language. Offhand remarks and fleeting facial expressions 
that reveal the larger picture. So, wow, so needing to heavily pay attention to some sort of details right now. And it says details, details. So it's saying it twice here. So let's see what your energy is like. Coming apart, 46, which is 10, which is about an ending. And there's always a new beginning. If you're going through a divorce or if you're leaving a job and it's been like something happened where you you had to go to court or there's been some kind of legalities of some kind, there's any kind of legalities to anything in your life that has come apart, whether it's a job that somehow the law got involved or a relationship, maybe you're going through a divorce or the selling of a home or something here where there's heavy energy in the documents, the details, the paperwork. Um, you really need to pay attention to that. And you may be feeling like you're coming apart, being pulled in different directions. You know, maybe this is something, uh, it could be something devastating, something tragic, something uh, major going on right now. And you just feel like everything is coming apart. And it's also telling you to really, really pay attention to the details here. Um, how Uranus plays a part, uh, could be a, a big, big challenge right now. And maybe, you know, it's something you've never, never had to deal with before. So it's really, um, coming apart. I feel like stress, worry, fear, anxiety kind of energy, some sort of ending here. So let, but you got divinely guided energy with seven, but let's see what's on the bottom balancing act 11 so yeah this reminds me of justice justice in uh the tarot and 11 again is being led on the right spiritual path going in the right direction so i really feel like <clears throat> there's a lot going on for you right now cancer trying to balance you know work home family whatever this situation is also and I definitely feel like that is reminding me of justice as something having to do with legal matters uh, or something. So however that resonates for you. Okay, Cancer. So let's see. Let's clarify this energy with the tower. With the tower. Okay. I, I don't even know where that came from. That doesn't even make sense. So <laughs> with the tower. So this could have been a tower moment. Past, present, or whatever. Or this could be future energy. This could be something that happened suddenly out of nowhere. And now you're involved in like a big mess of some kind. I don't even know where the tower, I don't even know where that came from. That's just crazy. Okay. So maybe we're going to get the tower card, but I was going to say tarot and tower came out. So let's clarify this energy with the tarot and see what's going on here. So I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift. Thank you. All your support really doesn't mean a lot to me. And Cancer, we just reached 10,000 subscribers. So in honor of that, I'm having a contest, a giveaway. You can win a tarot deck. And also with that deck, I'll give you a free 20 minute reading of your choice. And then I will send you that deck. I have used it in the past. So it's signed. I wrote a note inside. Look for the link on how to enter in the description box below and the top comment. It'll be open through March. I'll close it April 1st, and then I'll pick a winner. So head on over to that link for all the details on how to enter. And if you do, thank you and good luck to you. So Cancer, what is this? all this energy about for you, Cancer? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Wow. Ten of Wands, but it came out in reverse. So the Ten of Wands upright is about laying down heavy burdens. So it could be um, maybe this is almost reaching because tens are about completions. <clears throat> upright, you know, it's about laying down those heavy burdens. But in reverse, it's either you already have done that and maybe this is already closed out for you. And it's just like the clo last closing details of the whole situation that need to be taken care of. Or it's still, a, you know, an ongoing process and you're still not able to let go of this burden, some energy, because it's still an ongoing process for some of you. That's fire energy. So let's get another one here. 
Yeah, I feel like this is something that is still ongoing with the Eight of Pentacles. It's still something you're working on. Could have to do with work, career, or finances with the Eight of Pentacles here, but something, because we've got the Eight and the Ten is reversed, so it's still like at stage eight. It's not yet totally completed yet. So something that you're still working on, uh, finishing up here. All right, so what else for this energy? Yeah, Seven of Cups. No feeling, just like confused by this whole process. And maybe there's something in the paperwork that, you know, that you're confused about. <clears throat> you're looking at it all and you're like, I just don't get it. There's just so much to look at. It's just too much. Maybe you need to ask for professional help from your counsel or whatever here to really explain into detail and put it in like layman's terms so you understand every little thing. And bring a notebook, you know, a journal, something. Take notes on everything. Write it all down so you don't forget and you understand. Or record the conversations if you can do that. The Hierophant. So for some of you... This could be a work situation. Some of you, this could be a nasty divorce. Because uh, the Hierophant can talk about marriage. But the Hierophant also talks about commitment, doing what's moral, just and right, values, integrity, uh, structure. It also talks about institutions like the government and things like that. You know, college, school, the government, things like that. Death, yes, yeah, something here come come to an end. Something's coming to an end something ending for you but you do have success and victory here so i think things will go in your favor whatever whatever you're going through here will go in your favor because it'll end transformation new beginning success victory so even though you're confused about whatever legal situation this is Stay committed to the journey. You know, make sure you understand everything. Journal everything. It will come to an end. It will transform. And then you'll be able to move on successfully. Wow. Okay. So let's get your actual situation. It almost seems like the actual situation. But let's see what else we get for your actual situation here. For Cancer Spirit, please. Temperance. So yeah, balancing out your energy, peace, harmony, balance, patient, trying to try to be patient. You're trying to be patient during this process, trying balance, balance, two cards of balance. So really trying to balance out your energy in all aspects of your life. This is healing energy, uh, trying to be patient during this whole process. The temperance angel you usually brings into you uh, what's meant for you so three cups so there will be celebrating here there will be celebrating even though it's taken a minute <laughs> right in the middle of your spread is the hanged man so this has taken a minute it's taken a while it feels stagnant and still at times like nothing's moving but then new enlightenment comes in or a new perspective comes in to shed light on the situation Three of Wands. So yeah, waiting again. So patiently waiting for that ship to come in, for the results to come in, for this just to end. Um, so you can just, you know, be happy once again and go out and celebrate. <clears throat> what else here? Nine of Pentacles. So some of you are becoming single. For some of you, this is a divorce, which I feel like there's like a lot of, maybe there's a lot of money involved, a lot of assets or whatever here but for some reason there's a lot I feel like a lot of details a lot of maybe there was a prenuptial I don't know something here a lot of fine fine details it's taken like a long time I'm getting like 11 months like almost a year but you do have the nine of pentacles so you will be stable secure grounded independent can take care of yourself you'll have everything you need having everything you need waiting for it enlightenment here with the hangman so make sure you're enlightened to all the details that we'll be celebrating patience balance so 
Let's see what your advice is. Four of Pentacles. So holding on to what is rightfully yours and manifesting a brand new beginning here once you get what is rightfully yours. So hold on, holding on to your stability, your structure, your basis, your foundation, um, getting what is rightfully yours. So Spirit wants you to know you will be getting what is rightfully yours and you'll be able to hang on to what is yours, which will enable you to manifest this brand new beginning of becoming independent. All right, so what else for the advice here? The emperor, so taking the lead, taking charge, taking control, emperor, empress, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Being in control of your destiny. Wow, so you will be in control of your destiny in the future. Although things seem, you know, a little imbalanced right now. Again, balance, balance, balance. Three cards of balance. I just need a sip of water. So, yeah, <laughs> although you don't feel the balance right now, uh, you're feeling imbalanced, just know that I feel like whatever you're trying to hold on to, you'll be able, to, you will be getting what you're holding on to, what is yours, manifesting a brand new beginning. You will be in charge, in control of your destiny, your fate, your life, even though you don't feel it right now because you feel emotional, you feel over overworked you feel you know like you're coming apart totally imbalanced but you've got two car two majors right in the middle here for your advice of being in control and manifesting in brand new beginning though you don't feel that right now wow so what is the possible outcome for this situation for you cancer cancer what is the possible outcome for cancer page of cups so this could be apologies <laughs> or something here uh communication of some kind um could involve children here for some of you i don't feel like it's an apology from a child it just could be from whatever situation's going on here the other party the other per whatever could be just you know having you know peaceful communication and apologies kind of energy Yeah, over conflict. So definitely here, there was conflict here with the five of wands. There'll be apologies over this conflict. Or, you know, and good news coming in. Whatever this conflict was in a marriage or whatever, whatever legal thing you're in, I definitely feel that there will be good news that comes in about this. And there will be some sort of like peaceful communication Apologies kind of energy over this big conflict here with the five of wands. That's the outcome. And then the bottom of the deck, we have being very fiery and passionate, go-getter kind of energy now, going after what you want in life now, having zest for life once again. You now, after doing uh, soul-searching work here, you know, withdrawing for a time over this. And king or queen doesn't matter. Being stable and grounded, independent, having your pentacles, having your money, whatever here, not having to worry and looking at what you were trying to hold on to and then getting what is rightfully yours and now actually holding it in your hands. You know, whatever this toxic energy was, now we're cutting it out. It's over. It's done. Um, communication about that toxic energy or whatever energy that was, that was not a good energy cutting that out and being done with it because there we go we got justice i said that i, I knew i knew spirit was going to give me the justice card justice card i felt it so definitely legal matters here getting what's moral just and right for you balance again with the scales truth and clarity getting your justice here so we have libra we have libra gemini aquarius capricorn Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo Sagittarius, and we have Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini Virgo, Aries, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, that's your energy, Leo Sagittarius. Wow. Okay, so we need some extra messages for you 
with this deck, Cancer, to close this out. And I do say Cancer, if you're new and you like my style and how I read my energy, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month, two love, two general, and a bonus. And if you do, thank you. So let's see, Cancer. Talk to God. So if you need to pray, meditate, take some time for yourself, relax, try to get your mind off of this at times for a while here. <clears throat> and then we have 11, which is about being led in, um, being led on the right spiritual path, going in the right direction kind of energy. And then that is two, which is about, you know, unity of some kind. All right. So what else? Take bite-sized steps. 46 is 10, which is an ending. And then one is a new beginning. So I feel like this it's like moving very slow, like slow, like little steps forward, like, like taking a long time. It's like just, you know, going at a snail's pace or a turtle's pace. And it's just like little baby steps, like ahead, that's, you know, and this is also telling you, you know, for your future, just to take it easy and take little steps forward. So we have here, speak with love. 32, which is five, which is change. So I think things will change. And again, that it's like the page of cups here. So may not be like a loving situation, but at least it'll be peace, harmony and balance. And, you know, kind of like apologetic communication kind of energy. All right. So I definitely hear this reminds me of the six of swords. So definitely going, um, into a more healing, balanced place, leaving rough waters into calm waters kind of energy. Let's see, we get one more for Cancer. Connect with your soul family. 20, just two, and that's a unity card. So, unity numbers. So again, you know, only connecting with those that resonate with your, with you, your soul, who you are, friends, close friends and family your soul, family, your tribe, your friends, your family, your co-workers for some. So let's see what's on the bottom. Accept love, which is 39, just 12, which is 3. So I'm just getting, uh, 3 is about teamwork, collaboration, compromise. So I'm just getting, you know, maybe not <clears throat> accepting love, but accepting apologies or peaceful communication or resolution or something like that in this situation once it comes to a close, which I feel it will. For you, Cancer. Wow, Cancer. So this was a pretty um, heavy reading, so I feel like some of you are going through something major, which involves the, you know, justice of some kind, legal matters. I'm getting like a lot of paperwork and documents and forms and uh, things like that that you really really need to understand every little word, every little detail, and don't be afraid to ask for clarity and take notes or whatever you need to do. Okay, Cancer, well, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.